Hey y'all, this Dr. Lamb, Joseph Lamb, Simply Lamb, Pastor Lamb. That's right, all them titles, same one person uses me. Anyway, I was just on my car thinking. But you gotta be real careful or receiving help from people. I know we all going through stuff, especially I don't want through stuff, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes we just really need any help from people. Make yourself available and they help you. And they do this for you and they do that for you. But then we don't be realizing the help they're giving us is costing us. It costs us a whole lot. Our dependency, our trust in God. They're doing a whole lot of stuff. I had literally, I've been thinking all along. I literally have been myself side position. Well, I made someone feel as though there was my God or my keeper or my strong tower. In reality, my help comes from God. The Bible tells me that God has a keen heart inside his hand. So ain't nothing no man do for you, or no woman, or no being, or no nothing do for you without permission or the aid of God. Whether it be directly, indirectly, it all comes from God. God. So even if they didn't, ain't, don't know no God and they did it for you, it still comes from God. Because the Bible said the wealth of the wicked is stored for the righteous. People want to sometimes want to see you struggle, not to see you struggle for it be a bad thing, but just for you to be dependent on them to like slip, boost they eat you up indirectly by you needing them. And some people will get to you not because they want to get to you, but because someone in mind they feel so saying you need it and they able to do it. So like a power struggle. Some people saying like uh, exalt themselves. I'll be happy, you know what I'm saying? Do stuff for you. Cause they wanna feel like they're somebody. I feel as though they that guy or that girl or they that that it, you know? People, humans, is strange. They are really strange. And it's okay for people to be people and for people to be strange. But you analyze stuff and you start thinking for real, for real, for real. You start realizing, saying that you want to be dependent on God. You know, and even when people do stuff for us, you need to realize that it's God using the people to do it. They doing it. But they be a vessel, been a uh, been a a, 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 a a unit that God possession to make His acts manifest in your life. I got mine made up. I said today, you know, what I'm saying I would not allow nobody to do anything for me again in my life unless they realize. Or unless they confess, you know what I'm saying? It's God that blessing them to be able to do it for me. You know? And some people start beginning to think you owe them something. Can they do it inside the spirit of self? They don't do it in the spirit of God, or God using them, or God blessing them. They do it inside the spirit of self. Like, I did that for you. Remember my eye? Remember my eye? Remember my eye? I did this, I did it. Nobody else did it, but I did it. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they did it inside their own spirit. But at the time you need the help, you just want to help. You even think how it came. You know what I'm saying? But but now that once you once you start thinking about it, you'll see them saying that they, they, they have exalted themselves to be something when they really ain't nothing. 
Cause we all came from old dirt. You know? We all came from dirt. All came from Bird Bottle. You see that they got power they don't have. I think there's something that they ain't. We all on the same level, physically. Not spiritually, some of us on different rings, in a different assignment, and on different type of time. But as in physical, we all the same. I refuse to get anybody power over me. You know? I refuse to accept that I owe anybody anything. And if you had a business contract, and it was signed professional business, and you have done something for me, you have done it unto God. <laughs> I appreciate you. I thank you. But I owe nobody anything. And no one will refuse, well, well, I'm mean, not refuse, no one will uh, pit in my head that I owe them something. You know, I work every day, sometimes 12, 14 hours a day, just to make sure I stay afloat, and make sure I get back what I lost. You know? Mm. I'm just thinking that loud. But again, remember that the earth is the lowest and the fullness of the world and all that drilled in. And the most definitely many people, their possessions and their resources. Because all belong to God anyway. Anything we got is borrowed or loan to us from God. possess nothing on this earth but our testimony. What do I do? That's my heart. That's my mind. So if y'all heard me, heard me. If you didn't, you didn't. May God bless you and keep you in my prayer. Again, it's Dr. Lamb, Joseph Lamb, Simple Lamb. Follow me on IG at Simply Lamb. Be praying for me. Be praying for the church. Uh, we might have church on the, on the 18, but we will have it the first part of this symbol. The artists give continue to give. Uh, I'm gonna post the church cast app and uh Zemo and PayPal and all other stuff. Y'all can start sending to me because you can stop a record. Well that y'all say bless y'all say encourage. Talk to you later.